So did you all enjoy the quiz yesterday? Hold on, I have to unmute everybody. There you all are. Yes. Yes. Yeah, good, mashallah, you all had good time. And uh, where is Farhat and where is Amina? So you want to, who wants to conduct the quiz next year, next week? Me. Yeah, you would like to do? Uh, yes. Okay, what topic would you like to do? I, I always had you in mind. I said, okay, let you, I'll let you see the first quiz and then you can do it. We'll decide a theme and we'll plan something around it. No, I'll decide it. Yeah, you decide later. Inshallah, we all will, you know, in fact, all three of you are right here. The people who are in my mind are absolutely here. Farhat is here, Amina is here. So my three hosts is there. I just need to find one more. Uh, I think it will be Zayan if he's around. So I wanted three of you to check out, Inshallah. So, Amina, can you see us in here, Farhat and Amina? Yes. Oh, great. So, Amina, did you enjoy the quiz? Uh, yes. Yeah, so which one was it better? Arthur, you knew most of the answers. Arthur Bay, I think I heard your father say a lot about Arthur Yeah. Yeah. So, would you do the quiz next week? I, I don't know. Okay, I will plan on deciding the date. I'll help you, Chala. I'll help you around with the quiz completely. So don't worry. Right. And I think you should conduct one. I have you in mind. I have Farhat. It's all three of you who have in mind is here. I think right, Husna sister is already joined in. Uh, let me just unmute her. There she is. All right, we got. Okay. Uh, okay, I think it's one thirty was a different time for all of you. You all got to know. I'll just wait for others to join in and then we'll get started. Yeah, give me a minute. I'll just send a message to everybody. Muni, where are you? I, I did not see you yesterday. We had more Salah yesterday. Okay, you can unmute yourself and speak. Zayan, how are you? Hi. Good, Zayan. That's nice to hear you. All right. Uh, just, uh, Sister Hosna, I think there are another five or uh, six students around who want to join in, inshallah. It's okay? Sure, sure, sure. Yes, 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 inshallah. You had a back-to-back -back session. Wonderful, mashallah. Give me bless your energy. <laughs> I mean, thank you. Zayan, would you like to do a quiz next Sunday? Unmute yourself. Yeah, Zayan? I, I'll do the next Sunday. You will do next Sunday? But it's not on, on cricket, yeah? Is it okay? Not on cricket. On uh, this place? Space? Muslims, Muslims. Uh, we did it this week, no? So I wanted to do something around science next week. Uh, I had a couple of you in mind. Uh, Farhad, I can't see you, Farhad. Why don't you guys put your cameras on? Okay, hold on. Let me set Sophia. Uh, 
Alright. Okay, Mudabbir, how are you? Good. Abdullah, Assalamu alaikum. Nice to see all of you. Mudabbir, Assalamu alaikum. Alright, good. Farhad, yes, Farhad, how are you, Farhad? Fine. Nice, mashallah. It's nice to see you. I'm getting Messi coming and joining us. Sidra, good to you. Sufyan, how are you? And Alhamdulillah. Nice. Misbah. Alright, so we'll get started in a minute. I think everyone's almost in. We've got most of our teams here, so we'll not waste any more time. I think today, uh, fantastic. All of you looking really bright and good. Brilliant. Fantastic. There our teacher is, our mentor for today, Sister Husna. Welcome. So let me introduce our our mentor and our, and our, and our teacher for today. It's uh, Sister Husna. Sister Husna is a brilliant teacher, very energetic. Mashallah, she is a STEM teacher, science, math, and she's an award-winning Toastmaster for the public speaking. Alhamdulillah, very active. And the best thing is she has just gone to Andaman Nicobar. Poor blood, it's my home. So I get you extra bonus points for that, sister. Right. Welcome, Sister Husna. This is what I call the Mandela group. These are the eldest. Alhamdulillah, you will have some of the brightest answers. They're all yours. Everybody, I request you to put your mics on mute so you can hear your mentor today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Daud sir, for such a wonderful introduction. I'm not that a great personality. I'm a student of life, right? For all of you out there. And uh, thank you so much for the opportunity that you have created to see all these bright faces this afternoon, right? So to introduce myself, like uh, Daud sir just mentioned, my name is Husna and uh, I am an engineer by qualification, but I teach math at the Grandeur International School. I also have a small institute or an academy rather called the Winners Academy of India, where I train students into personality development and memory techniques and things like that. Right? My hobbies are, um, I think I like to paint, I like sketching and um, I also love playing cricket and badminton. Right? With this, yes, definitely I do have aims and aspirations in life. I want to become a successful entrepreneur and a world-class motivational speaker inshallah in future right that's all about me uh, i hope you all know doubts are in person and now you've got to know me i'm very curious to know about yourself now so can we quickly have one round of introduction right i'll call out the names i have some lovely names on the screen uh, when your name has been called out i think uh, you can unmute yourself for about 30 seconds and have a brief introduction about yourself are you all game for it can i see a thumbs up if you came for it. Perfect. Perfect. I see some lovely faces, some bright faces. I feel so energized. Right? Okay. Uh, let's begin with the person to my right. That is Muneeb MS. Hello, sir. Could you please unmute? Yes. Yes, sir. Muni, we can't uh, I think hear you. It's quite yeah. not audible. Yeah. Perhaps the others, those who are not on mute, that is uh, Muhammad Saqib and uh, Kanta R. Uh, may I request you to please go on mute, please? Yes, Muni, can you please unmute yourself and try speaking now? Yes, Muni. We'll come uh, to Muni a little later. Yes, All right. possibly. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Sakhalen. Could you please introduce yourself? In the meantime, Muni, just check with your audio. Yes, Sakhlan. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sakhlan Sia. So, mm -hmm. My hobby is making flip books, animation in flip books. Sakhlan's hobby is making animation in flip books. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Something wrong, Sakhlan? Sakhlan, yeah, repeat uh, yourself. Uh, my name is Sakin and my hobby is making flip books. Interesting. What do you want to become in life? A professional footballer. A professional footballer like Ronaldo or Messi? <laughs> Both. Oh, that's interesting. That's a smart move by the way. Okay, let's go ahead. We have Sidra Khan. Sidra, could you please unmute yourself and introduce darling? Yes. My name is Khan Sidra mm -hmm. and I like sketching, drawing, paintings, 
and I want to become an animator. An animator, interesting. My hobby is same as yours. I love sketching too, right? Okay, let's proceed further. Mudabir, could you please introduce yourself, sir? Yes. Salaam alaikum. Alaikum salam. My name is Mudabir, and I like to play football. Football again? Okay, too many footballers. Wonderful. Thank you. Please go on mute. We have uh, Farhad Zaina. Yes, dear. A quick introduction from you. Salaam alaikum. My name is Farhad Zaina. And I like sketching, drawings, painting. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I want to become a doctor. A doctor in making. Wonderful. Let's proceed further with the next participant over here. Muazzam. One addition, if you could please mention where are you from. Right? Yes, Muazzam, start. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muazzam. I am from Mumbai. Mm -hmm. And I like playing games on my tablet and I like playing football. As well. Football. Too many footballers. Interesting. Yeah, you'll have an entire Safia. TV system. <laughs> Interesting. Yes, Safia. Unmute yourself, Safia. Yes, dear. My name is Safia. Mm -hmm. And I like watching, playing, mm -hmm. and reading. Reading. Interesting. What do you want to become in life? Girl footballer. <laughs> Oh, oh my God! <laughs> this or is a interesting. Warrior. Or a warrior, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Okay, Sufyan, hello. Assalamualaikum. My name is Sufyan. I am in uh, Qatar now. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> my hobby is uh, playing outdoor games and watching TV. Interesting. What do you aspire to become in life? A king. A king, that's nice. <laughs> a king of friend. Qatar. <laughs> that's nice, wonderful. We have uh, Ms. Barizwani. Sufyan, Sufyan, mute yourself, please. Ms. Ba, unmute. I'm sorry. My name is Ms. Barizwani and I love baking. I just, and, I, and I, today also I make my donuts. We are all fasting, darling. You're tempting us. <laughs> interesting. Where are you from? I'm from Mumbai. Okay, interesting. What do you want to become in life? I want to become a baker, mm -hmm. a professional one. A professional baker. Count me in. I shall place my orders in future. <laughs> okay, we have Saqib, Muhammad Saqib. Yes, dear. Unmute yourself. My name is Muhammad Saqib. I am from UAE. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, my hobby is horse riding. Wow. Okay. And I want to become a fighter. A fighter. Okay. That's nice. Let's proceed to Amina. Hi, Amina. Hi. Uh, my name is Amina. And my hobby is painting. And in the future, I want to either become an artist or a photographer. A photographer or an artist. That's interesting. Farhana Patel. Amina yes. Sistamusna has her own YouTube channel and a very popular one. <laughs> um, I am Farhana and I want uh, my hobbies are I like reading and uh, I like painting and I like baking and I want wow. to become a traveler. A traveler. Interesting. Where are you from, uh, Parhana? I'm from Mumbai. Mumbai. Interesting. Uh, did we miss out someone? Samana yeah. Arshid. Uh, this is an uh, instructor. Samana and Shabana, the three day. Oh. Uh, oh, Farhad yes. is there. It's okay. Zayan, Farhad, Abdullah, Saqib, okay. Ahmed, okay. quite a few. Okay. Yeah, we, we also have Ibrahim. Yeah, Ibrahim, can you uh, put your camera on, please? Ibrahim Wahid from Surat. Zayan, could you speak? I'll help you my, my name is Zayan Muhammad. I am from uh, Ramanagabram, Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu, wonderful. Wanna come? My, <laughs> my, wanna come? <laughs> Thank you. My hobby is playing cricket and cooking. That's uh, nice. I want to become a professional cricket player. A cricket player, wonderful. Okay, I think we have um, Ibrahim. Yeah, yeah, Ibrahim. Yeah, Ibrahim, there you go. Yes. My name is Ibrahim and I am from Surat. My hobby is to become a pilot. A pilot. Wonderful. 
Uh, did we miss out on anybody? This one person whose audio was not working. Yes, Munib. Is it fine now? Are you good to go? Am I audible now? Yes, you are. You are. Go ahead. Okay. My name is Munib. Uh, my hobby is to be a footballer. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to play football and I am from Mumbai. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, I think we've covered most of it. Daud, two sir? More? Yeah, two more sister. Uh, Ahmed Kazi. Can I call them? Ahmed? Yes, Ahmed. Hi. You're matching with my scarf today. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ahmed. And I like reading and playing football. Okay. Where are you from? What do you want to become in life? I want to become an entrepreneur. And... Mm -hmm. And I'm from India. Okay, wonderful. That leaves us with Abdullah Sahib. Abdullah? The rest yeah. of you, Ibrahim, Zayan, Ahmed, unmute yourself, please. Abdullah, are you there? Sir, yeah. Yes. Yes, dear. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Abdullah Sahib. I'm a resident in UAE. And my hobby, my hobby is reading. reading. Uh, I want to become a doctor. A doctor. <clears throat> wonderful. Thank you so much for introducing yourself. Now I got to know a little two, better. Two left, yes. just two left. Should I? Oh, sorry. Uh, yes, Farhat, yes, yes, please. Farhat, quickly unmute yourself, Farhat. Uh, I told, I introduced. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. Mozam, did you also speak Mozam? Yes, yes, yes. He did, he did. Okay, everybody done. Mothabir? Yes, sorry. yes. We, we, we Fantastic. Done, yeah. Yeah. yeah, all right. They're all yours. Thank you. Thank you so much. I now have a. a an idea about what exactly you want to become in life and uh, thank you so much for introducing right any point in time during the session if i'm not audible just uh, you know possibly lift your hand up or raise a virtual hand right that'll indicate me that i'm not audible correct okay with this let's proceed further today we have an interesting activity to be done right i am not a theory person so i'm not here to teach you or give you a little bit of gyan but i'm here to practically teach you how you can become what you want to become in life, right? There's so many footballers, somebody wants to become an animator, one of them want to become a doctor, a king, a baker, a fighter, an artist, a photographer, a cricketer, and whatnot, right? So let's think about what are the basic elements in life that will kick us apart and that will push us towards our success. Are you all ready for it? Are we good to go? Fantastic. I'm going to be giving you a couple of instructions, right? And I want you to follow these instructions and get into the rhythm of my narrative, right? I'm going to possibly narrate a story and I want you all to act according to the narrative in the background. Are we all in for it? Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Now let's start off. Now to begin with, I want each one of you to sit straight in your chair or wherever you are seated. Sit straight with your spine straight. Wonderful. Be comfortable, be relaxed. Make sure that you have some support at the back. Right? Okay. Thank you. With this, I want you to put both your hands up. Both your hands up in this format. Yeah. And now keep it on your thighs. Keep the hands on your thighs. Yeah. Now you're seated straight, your hands on the thighs, right? I want you to gently close your eyes. I want you all to gently close your eyes. It's not a power nap, by the way, okay? Mind you. <laughs> gently close your eyes and start breathing. Take a long, deep breath. Inhale as deep as you can with your nostrils. Shrink your lungs with fresh oxygen. Possibly hold it for the count of four and exhale using your mouth. Sit straight in your chair. Stay focused. Hands on your thighs. Let's do it together. Inhale as deep as you can with your nostrils. Shrink your lungs with fresh oxygen. Exhale with your mouth. Do it again. Inhale as deep as you can. Hold it for the count of one, two, three, four. Exhale. Wonderful. You're going good. Keep your eyes closed. 
Let's do it again. Inhale. Hold it. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One last time. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. Thank you. You're going good. Maintain the same focus. Keep your eyes closed until I ask you to open. Maintain the same focus. And let's start something called as creative visualization. Right? I want you all to keep your eyes closed to the same focus and energy. And start visualizing whatever I'm going to narrate now. Right? I want you to keep your eyes closed and start to visualize your school starting. Your school has announced the date of you rejoining the school. Keep visualizing. You can visualize your school building, your classroom, your teachers, your friends. The one of the school. You put on your uniforms in the morning. You're all geared up with a lot of energy and excitement. You're prepared to report to the school on day one. Wonderful. Wonderful. Visualize. Create this in your visual memory. Cool. As you visualize yourself getting ready to go to the school, now it's time that you head to the school. And there you go, you have reached the school. You're so happy to meet your teachers. You're so happy to meet your friends after a real long time. You meet each other, you greet each other, you share what all you did in your holidays and your teachers are so excited to see you back again. And that's the day one of your school. Now, the new teacher has arrived. She has just arrived and you start the first class on the day one. She asks you to introduce yourself. You stand up with a lot of confidence and energy. You introduce yourself and everybody giving you the applause. You feel so happy, so relaxed. Same with your friends. They introduce themselves and the teacher is introducing herself or himself too. Wonderful. That's the day one of your school. Cool. Visualize this happening. Create this in your memory. Let it be colorful. Visualize your uniform. Visualize your classrooms, your books, your school building, your, your playground. With the same focus, imagination and visualization, let's proceed further. With your eyes closed. With your eyes closed. Let's proceed further and you start to study. Too early, ma'am. <laughs> you start to study. And the first chapter is so interesting in English, math, science, computer science, your languages. And you start loving every single chapter of every single subject. Study suddenly has become so easy, so interesting, so exciting. It's okay, it's okay. You focus. Even if there's a disturbance in the background, please focus. Stay focused. Wonderful. The studies have become so easy, so interesting, and so exciting for you. You start with your first chapter. You excel. You master it. You proceed with the second chapter. Days pass by. You start appearing for your unit tests, your formatives, your formal formatives. And you start to excel every single subject. You're so surprised. All your hard work is paying off. Your parents are so happy with your progress. You're so happy. Your mother is so happy. Your teachers are extremely delighted to see you progress on such a large scale. And now slowly as months pass by, you appear to write the final exams, the summatives. And this time, as you write your exams, you're so confident and relaxed like never before. This year, you're so relaxed, so confident, so energetic. You write with the same confidence, you complete all the subjects. 
and you come back and it's your vacation once again. Visualize this happening. And now it's time that your results will be announced. You're all excited. Your parents are excited. You keep your fingers crossed. And now you go to check with your results. You reach the school yet again after the academic year is concluded to check with your results. And now this time you go near the notice board and you start seeing your name. You start from the bottom. You don't see your name. You're surprised. You go a little up. You don't see your name again. You're surprised again. Go up and up and up. And here is an exciting news. Your name is on the top of the list. That means you've topped the school. You've topped the college. You're so excited. You're jumping up in the air. Your father is next to you. Your mother is next to you. You hug them. The tears of joy start rolling down your cheek. Your father is so happy. They congratulate you. They're so proud of you. They're so happy about your achievements. You feel so energized. You feel so happy to see you top the school, top the college. All your hard work is paying off now. And now you go meet up with your teacher, with your parents. And the teacher is so happy. She's congratulating you. Your parents feel so happy and proud about it. Are you enjoying this? Keep your eyes closed. Enjoy this success. Enjoy this space. Now, you come back home with a happy face. And suddenly you start getting calls from your relatives, from your neighbors, from your cousins, from your friends. They're all congratulating you. Congratulations for topping the school, for topping the college. You are a champion student. You are genius. They're all so happy about this fact. Wonderful. Wonderful. Stay focused. Stay focused. It's okay if there's a disturbance in the background. Stay focused. This is your creative world. Enjoy being there. This is all yours. Enjoy being there. Now, as your relatives are calling you, your neighbors are calling you, your friends, your cousins are all calling you to congratulate you for being the topper of your school and college, you feel so happy. You feel so relaxed. You feel so accomplished. You thank Allah. You thank your parents for all their support. You thank your teachers for all their support. Enjoy this process. And years pass by. You keep topping your school and colleges every year after year. And now it's time for you to become what you want to become in life. Some of you want to become a doctor. Imagine yourself writing that entrance exam, cracking through it and getting into the dream college that you always wanted to get into. Some of you want to become an animator. Imagine yourself cracking that entrance exam, aspiring to become an animator. Some of you want to become a footballer, a king, a baker, a fighter, a artist, a traveler, a cricketer, an entrepreneur, a doctor. Visualize yourself. Visualize yourself working towards becoming what you want to become in life. Those aspiring doctors writing your entrance exams, cracking through it, getting into one of the best colleges. Those who want to become the football players, the cricketers and entrepreneurs, you're working towards it. you have become a mature adult now. Visualize this happening. Make it colorful. Make it attractive. Exactly the way you want. You get selected in the Indian cricket team. You get selected to be an international football player. You're now an official doctor. You're an artist. You've now become a traveler, you start writing your blogs, you start, you know, creating your own videos. You're an animator, you start your own animation company. You're a doctor, visualize yourself sitting in your clinic, visiting doctors, the different doctors in different hospitals, treating patients. Wow, what a fantastic feeling this is, isn't it? Yeah. 
you feel so accomplished. Let the tears of joy roll down your cheeks. It's okay. It's okay. You feel so happy, so relaxed. Enjoy this. Stay in that visualization. Stay in this visualization with your eyes closed with the same energy and focus. Your parents are so happy that you've become what you want to become in life. Your teachers are so happy to see you accomplished in life. Your siblings take you as a role model. Your neighbors, your cousins, all of them take you as a role model. Such a happy state this is to be, isn't it? Such a fantastic feeling this is to experience. Wonderful. Keep your eyes closed and enjoy this. Experience the joy. Look at your parents being so happy to see you settle in life. You have now entered the cricket pitch, your football field, the stadium. Those who aspire to become cricketers and footballers. You are in the stadium. Everybody cheering your name. Yes. And your parents are one of the audience, one of the... <coughs> You're so happy to be there. You're so, so happy and relaxed. Enjoy this. And now it's the time for you to contribute back to the community, to the society, to your parents, to your siblings. And you start doing that. Imagine yourself that you have accomplished all your goals. Now you are a successful entrepreneur, a successful football player, a very famous cricketer, a king a baker, a fighter, a world-class entrepreneur, a doctor. And you've, you've achieved what you want to become in life. Now it's time for you to contribute back to the community, to the society, to your parents, to your relatives. And you start doing that. Such a happy state it is to be, isn't it? Imagine yourself doing that. Visualize. Visualize the kind of clothes that you're wearing, the place that you're living in, the way you're contributing back to the community as a doctor, by treating patients, as a footballer, by contributing to your country, as a cricketer, as an animator, as a king, baker, and whatever you want to become in life. Imagine yourself do this in action. Visualize this happening in your life. Such a wonderful feeling to be, isn't it? Wonderful. It's okay. Let the tears of joy roll down your cheeks. It's okay to cry. Cry out in gratitude. Thank Allah for giving you this power. Thank your parents for all the support that they've extended in your life. Thank your parents in abundance. Thank your teachers. Visualize you enjoying that moment of success in your life. Visualize you becoming what you want to become in life with all your hard work, all your effort, the passion, the energy, the enthusiasm with which you worked hard in life. Wow. Wonderful. Wonderful. I give you last few seconds to stay in the state, same state of mind and enjoy this. This is called as creative visualization. Everything that happens in life happens twice. Once in the mind, once in reality. So focus on becoming what you want to become. Fantastic. I give you last few seconds. To stay in the same state of mind. And enjoy. Enjoy your success. Wonderful. Last few seconds. And then you come out of this creative visualization zone.
last 30 seconds. I see some smiles on the face. Enjoy, enjoy. Enjoy your success. Cry out in gratitude if you want to. Looking at your parents so happy. Looking at your siblings taking you as role models. Looking at your cousins being so happy and proud about the fact that you've achieved something in life. Enjoy this. I see so many smiles. Wonderful. Wonderful. Last 30 seconds for you to enjoy this. 20 seconds rather. Last 10 seconds. 10. 9. 8. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. You may gently open your eyes now. Open your eyes and become awake. You may gently open your eyes and become awake. Wonderful. Hello, everybody. Hi, welcome back to the reality. <laughs> Open your eyes and become awake. Did you all enjoy the process? Yes. Can I see a thumbs up going up? A virtual thumbs up. Wonderful, wonderful. Did you all enjoy looking yourself as a cricketer, as a footballer, as a baker, as a doctor, as an entrepreneur, as a king, as a traveler that each one of you wanted to become, right? Wasn't it a fantastic feeling to experience the joy of we becoming what we want to become in life? Yes, was it? Cool. Amazing. This is called as creative visualization. What is creative visualization? That's exactly what you did now, right? Creative visualization is actually a technique which uses your imagination to create and visualize different scenarios. You know, it occurs in your mind. And by using creative visualization, you can create a mental picture of something that you want to become in life and focus on this particular image. That's exactly what you did now. My dear friends, it works wonders. Not only that you get what you want, you sometimes even end up getting something better than what you wanted to in your life. All you need to do is focus on what you want. Imagine how good it will be to just feel, to have it, start working on it. It will certainly be yours, right? So this is a beautiful technique that I teach in my workshop called the creative visualization technique. Your mind is such a powerful thing. And all your visuals, all your visual images that you have, that you create, during the creative visualization, it actually determines some of the strongest feelings and emotions that you could have. So practice this creative visualization in your life. Now, there are certain benefits of practicing creative visualization. Now, the first benefit is it produces stress. Yes. And it increases your courage. It increases your confidence. It eliminates all the negativity that you have around you. It gathers a lot of energy and it also fosters your purpose in life. It brings a lot of joy. It brings a lot of inspiration and happiness in your life. So these are the benefits of creative visualization. And I'm very sure you got to experience this right now when you were in that mode of creative visualization. How many of you felt more happy once you were in that state? Put your hand up. How many of you felt more energized, more positive in life? How many of you felt that you kind of found out the purpose, the purpose to live this life? Wonderful. So there you go. You have the results. There you go. Right? It's a very important personality development tool that anyone can possess. Right? This is one key to achieve your goals in life. If it's used correctly, it can bring a lot of good health. It can help you perform well in your academics. It can help you perform better in sports. It can help you accomplish your goals in life. 
if you can correctly practice creative visualization, just like the way you did right now, just like the way you did right now, right? So what is the correct way of practicing creative visualization, ma'am? Maybe most of you all might have this question. That's exactly what you did today. That's the correct way of practicing creative visualization, right? So after visualization, you should feel inspired. If you want to know, if you want to give a trial and error method and then find out whether whatever you have practiced, is it the correct way of doing? Once you're done with your creative visualization session, your own self, you need to feel inspired. How many of you felt inspired to become whatever you want to become in life now? As you were visualizing, you, you got inspired to become that world-class cricket player. You were inspired to become that world-class football player, that exceptional doctor, a fantastic baker, the king that you want to become. Wonderful. Wonderful. So practice this, right? You need to get inspired and you need to be ready to take actions towards your goals. Now, are you energized to take that actions towards your goal? Now that you know, if I want to become a doctor, what is that I want to do now? Right? I can't become a doctor just like that. I can't sleep and in the morning get up and say, oh, ho, I'm a doctor. <laughs> Can I? No, I can't. Isn't it? So if I want to become a doctor, maybe 10 years down the line or 15 years down the line, I want to become a successful entrepreneur. I want to become a footballer, a cricketer. For that to happen 10 years down the line, what am I supposed to do now? Right? Have some action plans. If you're getting inspired today to become that, if you really want to become that, start today. You want to become a baker? Start today. Start looking at different recipes. How can you become a, a unique baker? A popular baker. How can you become a fantastic football player? Watch out for videos of, of successful football players. Read some books on fantastic football players and read some motivational books. How did they, these people reach that particular stage? Right? So this is the time to do that. Now, what are the steps to do this creative visualization? Am I good to go? Uh, is my audio clear to you? Is it clear enough? Yes, it Can is. Can I see I your hand? Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, they Fantastic. Are all thumbs up. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. I beg your pardon if, if my voice is not audible because the, the connection so is a little unstable over here. Good to know that it's audible. Thank you. With this, what are the steps to practice creative visualization? There are six simple steps. Six simple steps to achieve your goals through creative visualization technique. Are you ready to learn these six simple steps? Are you? Hello? Are you ready? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Wonderful. Right. Wonderful. The first step is to set the mood, right? To sit in a very relaxed and comfortable posture in a way where there's no distraction. Yeah. Practice deep breathing. Just like the way we did just before we started to practice creative visualization, right? Did we do that? That's the first step. The first step is to set the mood right. Okay. And the second step is to enter the meditative state. That's exactly what we did, isn't it? We started practicing deep breathing. We started to meditate. We started to relax ourselves. Yes. Mind you, this technique of practicing deep breathing can actually help you a lot, even if you're going on the stage and speak. Yes, in every program that I conduct, I recommend all my mentees that they practice at least 30 seconds of deep breathing before they go up on the stage. And I do it even now. No matter how good of a speaker you are, no matter how confident you are on the stage over the mic, you need to practice deep breathing for at least 30 seconds. Why? Because deep breathing will give you excess supply of oxygen to your brain and you start becoming more smarter and the fluency will improve, right? So practice meditation, practice deep breathing as much as you can, even before you start to study. For example, say you want to practice a theorem in math or you want to say memorize a poem in English or any other language for that matter or a particular concept in science. Yeah. If you, if you, if you're sitting to study right before that, maybe about 10 to 30 seconds of deep breathing will actually help you a lot. Your studies becomes more effective. Once you practice deep breathing, that's step number two. Step number one is to set the mood right. Step number two is to practice deep breathing and create the meditative state. And step number three is to visualize your goal. What is that you want to become? What is that you're focusing to in this particular creative visualization session? 
create your goal visualize your goal the beautiful you know slogan there's a beautiful quote which says where your focus goes your energy flows so what are you focusing on you want to become a doctor you still sleep they say till 11 o'clock in the morning you can't you need to get up in the morning start reading prepare for your entrance right you want to become a cricketer you're still on your bed not happening you need to start working towards it you need to read books on successful cricket players what are the techniques to become cricket players reach out to your coaches check with your parents talk to them about it mom dad ummi abu whatever you call them this is what i want to become in life can you please help me achieve this i will give my 100% towards it can you please help me out reach out to people who can help you out in achieving these goals right so visualize the goal that you want to become that's step number 3 step number 4 is to hold on to your feelings associated with your visualization right just like the way we we held on to our feelings now the feelings of being happy the feelings of being accomplished seeing your parents happy seeing your neighbors happy seeing your siblings your cousins your teachers happy isn't it a happy state so hold on to those feelings when you're practice in creative visualization that's step number 4 and step number 5 is to make this a habit make this creative visualization a habit yes say for example if you are going to your debate competition say for example you're going for your cricket selections of your school team your college team of state team national team right so get into the state of creative visualization and visualize yourself excelling in that particular entrance visualize yourself getting qualified getting selected by the state team in your school team in your college team whatever you are looking forward to make this as a habit right and the last step my dear friend is something very very important it's easier said than done right the sixth step the most important of all these six work hard towards achieving the goals nothing comes easy in life isn't it just by sitting on your cozy comfortable bed or on your sofa on the chair that you're seated right now just creating in your mind will not be a reality you need to work hard you need to work hard to achieve your goals that's the most important step however to achieve that particular goal the first step that start start practicing your creative visualization right how many of you have how many of your parents are engineers by the way or or you know somebody who is an engineer you know somebody who is an engineer okay a civil engineer to be more precise the one who who helps in the construction of buildings right yeah wonderful thank you if you want to possibly create a particular building or an apartment do you take the bricks and then keep one next to each other and then do the trial and error methods or you have the end goal in mind and then come back to step 1 and start creating it what do you do can one of you mute and then tell me do you take one brick and then keep it over here oh, oh, oh no this is not working out let me paste it in a different format okay let me place it here this seems to be a little better or oh, no i can place it here that's going to be more interesting do you do it that way or do you have a end goal you have a plan ready and then you come back to step 1 and then start working towards it Who's the brave one to answer this? Yes, Munib. You have a plan ready. You need to have the plan ready. And then you start. You come up and wonderful. And then you come back to the first step and do it. Wonderful, wonderful. Your voice was a little lagging, but I could understand most of what you wanted to tell. Anybody else who would like to answer and add on to this question? Yes, all the brave ones here. Yeah, who's the one who wanted to become a king? The one who wanted to become a king. Put your hand up. Yes, come on, Sufyan. King from Qatar. King from Qatar. Yes. What's your call on this? What do you think? Do we need to have a plan in mind and then come to step one, or we have step one? Yes, yes. Tell me. I could not hear your question. Can My you question is, I I will I will. My question is, if you want to construct a particular building or an apartment, right? Do you start with a plan in your head or do you have one brick at a time place it at different parts of the 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 peel that you have and then decide upon where you want to start with do you start the foundation then start constructing the plan or do you have the end result in mind first what do you do uh, uh you have the you end have result the... in the mind first absolutely that's all 
Yes, yes, Muhammad Saqib, your hand going up. You want to say something? Go ahead. I will have a plan first. Definitely, will... definitely. So I'm not telling you this, you are telling this. So please have your plan first. So have the end result. What do you want to become in life? Life is very boring without goals, isn't it? Yeah. Every single person out there, for example, your friends themselves, they're all sitting, relaxing their vacations, but you have taken this extra step of spending say, about one hour each day in the school hub or hub schooling that's happening, right? So you have already proven, you've already proved that you are a unique student. You are a different personality than many and thousands of friends and students and children out there, isn't it? So what is that you want to do something differently to become a, 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 an exceptional cricket player? What is that something differently that you need to be doing to become successful in life? Yeah. Have a goal, have an end result, and then start working towards it. Practice creative visualization that you've learned today, and you will definitely start seeing results. Right? Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. So these are the six steps that I had on a simple technique, which is yet more, more powerful. And I have seen so many of them come up with wonderful results after practicing creative visualization. It seems very simple, but very, very effective. And trust me when I say this, right? So let's uh, revise. Uh, Safia, I see your hand going up. Do you have any question? No? Okay. Okay. All right. No problem. So let's revise the six steps that each one of us uh, have learned today the six steps to practicing creative visualization in an effective way is step number one. Who would like to tell me step number one? Who that will tell me step number one? No brave one. Uh, sitting uh -huh. yes, in a straight position. Okay, that means to set the mood right, right? Sit in a yes. very straight and comfortable posture. Practice deep breathing. Fantastic. What's the second step? What's the second step? Once you have set the mode right, what's the second step? Yes, Safia, go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, Safia, un unmute yourself. When you get up, like whatever time you want, you can't get up. You have to get up like at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Means you have to work hard toward it. Okay, wonderful. That's one of the learnings that we had. What's step two after you've set the mode right? You need to practice deep breathing, right? Create the meditative state, yes. isn't it? Yeah, wonderful. What's the third step? What do you do after that? Third step. You have to have a goal. Okay, you need to have a goal. That means you visualize the goal, right? You yeah. create the mental pictures out of it. Fantastic. This shows that you're also focused in your life. Yeah, this shows your listening skills as well. Wonderful. What's the fourth step? Work hard toward it. Work hard towards it, definitely. What's the fourth step? You need to hold on to the feelings associated with that goal. Isn't it? Just like the way you, you did right now. What's the fifth step? We should ask our father or mother, uh, to, this is my dream. Can you help me? Uh -huh. Okay, wonderful. That's a good takeaway. What's the, what's the actual fifth step? Achieve the goal. To make the creative visualization as the habit. Yes, wonderful. And what is the last and an important step that we learned today? After doing all these things, if you don't do this step, everything is, go for, is going to go for waste. Work hard. Work hard. To, work hard to work. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. So these are the six steps towards practicing creative visualization in a much, much effective way, just like the way you did today. Right? And... Trust me, my dear friends, when I tell you this, anything in this world is possible. There's nothing which is called impossible because impossible, the word in itself says that I am possible. Isn't it? That's something interesting. Yeah. So if you write impossible, try to break that down. It says I am possible. That means everything is possible. Don't let go of your dreams in life. Yeah. You want to become a football player, a cricketer, whatever you just mentioned, work towards it. Reach out to people who can help you accomplish that goal. Speak to your parents. Act as if you're, you're a cricket player right now. Start acting that way. One day you will definitely reach that. Right? Okay. 
Wonderful. With this, I am done with all the six steps. I definitely enjoyed the time spending with each one of you. I saw so many bright faces today and I'm so happy to meet each one of you. Uh, do you mind uh, one or two people, if you can just unmute yourself and share what was your experience? What was your experience of getting into the zone of creative visualization? Just put your hand up. I will uh, reach out to you. Put your hand up if you want to share your experience. How was your feeling? What did you feel? Did you feel happy? Did you feel accomplished? What was your uh, creative visualization experience? Okay, uh, Misba, you unmuted. Was that Misba? Okay, Amna, Amna yeah. is putting the hand up. Yes, Amna, go ahead. Please unmute yourself uh, and share your experience. How did you feel? Yes. I felt motivated. Okay. And I felt like I can succeed the goal that I had. Okay, wonderful. I'm so happy for you. Is there anybody else who would like? Yes, Saqib, I see your hand going up. Yes, dear, go ahead. I felt happy. You felt happy that you've already achieved your goal. Wonderful. Uh, just before I go to Farhana, you're putting your hand up. Let me check with doubt, sir. Are we good on time? We are good are on time. Good on? Absolutely. Okay, good. perfect. Fantastic. Thank our, you. Our, our yes, dreams Farhana. are at stake, so we have to get them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yes, Farhana, ma'am. Go ahead, ma'am. <laughs> um, I actually liked it because, uh, like, uh, I like I like thinking about stuff. So it felt nice after you, you, like you were telling us to think about it, and like I had to imagine. So it felt really nice, and mm -hmm. I felt motivated. Wonderful. Thank you. Now, are you confident enough to your goal now? Do you yeah. want to practice yeah. every single day? Yes. That's nice. Okay. Is there anybody else who would like to share? What's your feeling? What's your take on this? I felt satisfied. Yes, Safia, you want to say something? Um, it was very nice. Uh -huh. and, yeah, and motivating. Mm -hmm. And like we have become really creative after. Wonderful. Yeah. Long way to go. This is just the beginning, right? Keep practicing. Yes. Any other sharings? Okay. All right. Thank you. I think that's it. Okay. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for giving me an opportunity to be with you all today. More than what I have shared with all of you, I have learned from each one of you. Thank you so much for teaching me. Yeah. In the time that I have spent over here and uh, I just hope and pray that whatever we have discussed today, the power of creative visualization technique will help you somewhere in your life. And one day, I see you as a cricketer, I see you as a footballer and come to the stadium in which you're playing and then cheer for you. And one day I come to your clinic, not that I want to become sick, <laughs> but just to visit you to see you as a doctor. And one day I can place my orders with the successful baker that we have over here and uh, visit the kingdom of the king from Qatar, <laughs> right? And read the blogs from the traveler as well. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I definitely would like to thank Brother Dawood as well for creating this platform. I'm so honored to be here. I'm so delighted to see each one of you. And I thank Allah for uh, providing this opportunity to share my learning with all of you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Sister Husna. This was really wonderful. I just message that there's a lot of courage to do a session like that. I think it's very different from any of the academic you've done. Very powerful. And hopefully, when they stand on the podium with a trophy in the hand, they will thank you at a moment somewhere. Thank you so much. I definitely look forward to see them with trophy, possibly a World Cup. <laughs> right, wonderful. So, as we always do, we have a session ending quiz or a little game out there before we go ahead. A little summary of I do that. Are you all ready, guys? Yeah? And then before yes. we say adieu to our teacher. Fantastic. So, here is what I just created as the sister speaking. This is something that uh, maybe relates to what we're doing. So, all of you, as you all know, right, you will unmute and mute yourself only if I, I ask your names right now. These are just the medals I've created and these are all the people who have won the medal are people who have thought about it before. I love what Sister Hosna said that you win twice. One in your mind and one in reality. It relates to what our scholars have said. You know, because Ramadan is going on, there's a beautiful quote which says, you taste Jannah twice. The one who cannot taste Jannah in dunya cannot taste Jannah in Akhirah. And it is so beautiful. So have you tasted Jannah in Ramadan today? Isn't it, Sister Husna? I think you all taste things twice. Wonderful. All right, there you are. Okay, everybody, I'm going to quickly jump to uh, here is, okay, this is for, what, what medal is this? 
Who wants to answer that? Let me, Sister Hussain can call out the names and I'll go to them. What medal is this? Can I go to my, uh, Munif wants to go. Okay, Munif, the first attempt is yours. Go unmute yourself and tell me. Oscar Award. Okay, Munif says Oscar. What does my king say from Qatar? What medal is this? I don't know. What is it? I don't know. I you don't know. Okay, Amina has to answer. Amina, unmute. Go ahead. Um, the Nobel Prize award. All right, Amina said it's the Nobel Prize. Anyone else wants to answer? Farhat, Taklen. Okay, I'll give this one to Amina. It is the Nobel Prize, Alfred Nobel. And this is so amazing. All the people who won Nobel Prize, they already have visualized winning it. Even the person who, who actually invented or, you know, he awarded this, he actually invented dynamite. And he felt so bad about it. That is his endowment. Today, Nobel Prize are given as an award for recognition for people for all their life. Amazing, Amina. Great work. Quick question, trivia, where was the Nobel Prize? Which country gives the Nobel Prize? Very quick question. Where is Zayan and Safiya? The country, guys. Okay, I'm going to... Okay, Safiya, all right, go ahead. Muni. Unmute yourself. Muni, I came to you, all right, so I'll keep coming. Yes, tell me, Safiya. England. England, okay. Zayan, what do you think? Mm. Quickly. No, Zayan, anyone else want to attend? America. America, okay, it's Americans. America. Munib, okay. Tell me, Munib. Iceland. Iceland. You're close to Iceland, Munib. Okay, I'm not giving the answer here. You have to Google it and put it on a WhatsApp chat. The first one gets gets the answer, wins it, right? The answer is a country with I'll not tell you the country which starts with. All right, that's a clue. That's that's something that you have to go ahead. Okay, O is in the answer, you'll get the answers there. All right, quickly, which, which medal is this one? This is very powerful medal. Most of those have visualized it. They are my sports stars. Sidra, want to answer? Muazzam? Uh, I can't see you. Ibrahim, Ahmed, Misbah, I can't see you guys. Hold on, Amina. Who wants to answer? All right, someone's done the chat one, quickly. Okay, Ahmed, I saw you. I saw your answer on the, on the chat. All right, Ahmed, I'm unmuting you. Why did you speak up loud? Yeah, Ahmed, go ahead. I think it's the Olympics. All right, Ahmed thinks it's the Olympics. Okay, Misbah, you said Sweden for the Nobel Prize. Okay, you're close to that. Uh, Amina, what do you think is it, since you raised your hand? Uh, I thought it was Olympics. All right, this is the Olympics, and this is very powerful. It is, it is right now, this one particular one is the yeah, Olympics. Oh, somebody said the answer anyway. All right, I'll come to you. Now, this one is very strange award. Most of us don't speak about it, but I, I'm sure, you know, with Sister Husna here who teaches the subject. Uh, Ms. Bari, the answer is right. Hold on, we come to the third one. What award is this for? You can find out in this. This is a special award for a special subject. It's a scientist, best scientist award. Okay, I'm in a best scientist award, right? So they are getting a scientist award for you. Mathematician. Uh, Farhana, brilliant. So I mean, I gave the clue, set it up for you, Farhana. That's the answer. It's called Field Award or Field Prize for the best mathematician in the world, right? So, so all of you aspire for the awards. What I'm coming to is the trophies, the awards, accolades will come later. But what is important is what you think about it. I, I'm really amazed at Sister Husna's session today. This is, who is this? Quickly, I want anyone to unmute yourself and tell me the sports Michael stars. Michael Felb. Michael Felb. Okay, Mudabir Amina, I heard you all first. Fantastic. Michael Felb st stood on a podium much before he actually stood on. He's won the medal in his dreams, in his mind technique. And there's a book where he says that. All right, all the football fans or fanatics, I call them. Who is this guy holding the cup out there? A small... Luka Modric. Oh, Munif, Safiya, yes, all of the other ones. Luka Modric, he's from a small town of Zagreb, right? From Croatia, or oh, Czech Republic, I'm sorry. And which one is it? Czech, Czech or Croatia? And... All right, so Croatia. 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 All right, thank you, guys. This is Croatian guy. He's winning it, and that's what I'm telling you. Where is my Mr. 360 degree? Where is Zayan out there? Did I lose you, Zayan? I'm or, here. Yeah, you, you know these guys out there, Zayan? ABD Williams, David Warner, Rohit Sama. <laughs> All right, do you know? They think of their matches much before. Our sister Hosna, sister Hosna is a cricket player. You think of your matches before that? Can I unmute you, sister, and go ahead? 
Absolutely, yes. My brother is also a cricket coach. Okay. So he also did creative visualization on the field for all his players. So it wow. definitely helps. So, so who are you? A bowler, a batsman, a Dhoni? I'm a I'm a great fan of Captain Cool. <laughs> okay, all right. So we know the RCB is losing on support to CSK. <laughs> all right, brilliant. Okay, last two slides or three slides for you. You'll tell me the name of these books that teach you the power of visualization and becoming big. Uh, the first one, quickly, Magic of Thinking What? Go ahead. It's okay even if you shout out randomly. Give an answer. Yeah, success. Success. Okay, what else? Keep telling the answers. All of you can unmute yourself so I can hear you all loud and clear. Goals. Okay, I've unmuted you. Go ahead, shout. Goals. Goals. Okay, keep telling me. Keep telling me. The magic of thinking what? Very quickly. These are books you must read once before. Big. Even. Big. Big. Oh, wonderful. Whoever, who said big? Can you shout your name? Ms. Ba, Ms. Ba. Ms. Ba. Big. I like the answer there, Ms. Ba. Big. Second one, how to dash, how to win dash and influence the people. Second influence. To win right. success. Success, okay. Tell Friends. me more. To win Friends. People. Friends is the answer. All right, wonderful. Two more yeah. books, very popular books, quickly. Uh, Dr. Spencer Johnson says, who moved my what? <laughs> who moved my what? Quickly. Cheese. cheese. All right, we're getting cheese. And the last one, the seven habits of highly oh sorry i don't know the answer, the answer. <laughs> i gave the answer all right i'm stopping sharing here thank you everybody thank you so much we are on a roll here once again sister husna thank you so much for our amazing session guys we had a great time can you show a thumbs up to our teacher here today thank you all right thank you, everybody. Thank you and bye bye assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah saklan says thank you ma'am i enjoyed a lot Thank you. You're most welcome. I look forward to meet you again. Bye. Have a blessed day ahead. Bye, Thank everybody. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you.